Okay, it's a good question. What is a reverse VPN? Um, now, before I answer that, I have to sort of explain what I mean by a VPN in the first place, a regular VPN. Um, I don't mean it as uh, like Nord VPN, like you might use to try and hide your internet traffic because you think it makes you feel safe online. It doesn't, but anyway. Um, I mean a VPN like what a company will use. So, um, especially at the moment with a lot of people working from home, a company will set up a VPN server inside their network and um, all their remote workers will have VPN clients on their laptops, which will then make a connection to that server. Now, to set up a server like that, you have to do a decent bit of config um, to allow it to do this connection because it's accepting inbound requests, and that's an important note, an inbound request from the internet to the server to initiate that. So the client initiates the connection, it goes to the server. So it's inbound into the network and it requires a bit of config. A reverse VPN, is the opposite of that. What an attacker will do, and it's typically an attacker, there's not a usual regular use case for this other than getting around firewalls. They will plant a device or set up a VPN client inside the network. So inside the network they're trying to attack. And they will have a command and control server somewhere else in their house, in the cloud, wherever that may be. That server will be the VPN server. And so the client inside the target network will be making an outbound request to the server. And most firewalls, whenever people set them up, they don't care too much about outbound requests, really. They're concerned about the stuff coming in to the internet or coming in from the internet. But the client on the inside network is making an outbound request and it can make that request on port 443, which is HTTPS, uh, typically open for HTTPS, which is internet traffic. So almost every company in the world is going to allow this port um, to be communicated on. And so the client uh, that's inside the, uh, the target network is able to go out no problem, contact the command and control server. And then what the attacker can do is they log on to their server and then they can connect to the client that has that VPN tunnel established. It's very hard to defend against. Uh, you've seen the series I'm showing sort of how we can break that down. As you've seen at the firewall level, unless you block everything, it's, it's going to get out.